For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do these problems on distributed loading, which says determine the resultant force and, spe and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. So let's say A is right here. So we have three rectangular forces. The one with six kilonewtons per meter, the one with nine kilonewtons per meter, and the one with three kilonewtons per meter. And we got the lengths. So basically, when you have a rectangular force, the force is the equivalent force is like it acts in the middle. So the one for this one's gonna be acting here, the one for the ninth is gonna be acting here and the one from the third one is going to be acting right here in the center. So let's call it this F1, F2, F3. So F1 is equal to the 6 kN per meter times 1.5. F2 is equal to 9 kN per meter times 3. And F3 is equal to 3 kN per meter times 1.5 again. So 6 times 1.5 is 9 kN. 9 times 3 is 27 kN. And 3 times 1.5 is 4.5 kN. So when you add these three together, you get the resultant force. All you gotta do is add them together because they're all aiming the same way. So let's say going down is positive, so the resultant force comes out to be 40.5 kilo newtons. And the moment at A is equal to this moment arm right here, which is at minus 0.75 this one which is at 1.5 and this one which is at 3 plus 0.75 which is 3.75 so the moments at A assuming clockwise is positive F1 would turn this lever arm counterclockwise so it will be negative 0.75 times F1, which is 9 kilonewtons. Let's actually not put the units so we don't clutter, we don't make too much clutter, it's easier to understand. The second one is turning this lever arm clockwise with length 1.5, so it's positive 1.5 times F2, which is 27. And the third one is turning this longer lever arm also clockwise of 3.75, it's clockwise, so it's positive 3.75 times F3, which is 4.5. So when you plug this into your calculator, you get that the moment is equal to 50.6 kilonewton meters. That's the moment. And this is the resultant force. And they want you to say, where would this resultant force act? This resultant force acts with respect to A would be the moment is equal to the force, the moment at A is equal to the resultant force times the distance that it acts at A. It's going clockwise because it's positive. Since it's positive, it means that it goes clockwise. And to turn this, this moment clockwise, it's going to need to be to the right of the point A. And it's going to be this distance D. So the moment is 50.6. The resultant force is 40.5 and D is the variable we're looking for. So D comes out to be 1.25 and we're in meters. So it means that the resultant force acts 1.25 meters to the right of to the right of A. Why to the right? Because because the moment, the resultant moment, it's clockwise, so it has to be to the right. If it was to the left, it would turn it counterclockwise, and that would be wrong. Why 1.25? Because we plug it into our formula and we solve for D, and we found that it's 1.25. So, final answer is 1.25 to the right of A.
this is the moment and this is the resultant force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.